Okay, boys, today we're going to work on Sketchbook, Autodesk Sketchbook. It's on self-service. Once you open, now you don't need to watch the start drawing, you can close that. I'm going to start a new sketch. We don't want it any more than 1500, so you can click Create. I'm going to save this current sketch in case I need to use it later. Then with two fingers, I'm going to turn my canvas so it is landscape. I'm going to click on the ruler tool at the top. Now with the ruler tool, we're going to divide our page into eight. We're going to use the technical pen, which is on the left hand side. You can see it's highlighted blue. I'm going to do it in black. Now, if you don't know where the color is, those two little circles on the right, are your color wheel. So if we tap that, sometimes you get rid of it. If you bring it back, you just tap it again and it comes back and you tap the color to move the color. Now I'm going to start by drawing a line in the middle on both sides. Now it doesn't matter if it's not perfectly divided, you just do the best you can. We want eight. So we're going to then split these in half. So we have four at the top and four at the bottom. Once you've ruled that section, you can just tap the rule tool and it goes away. Now we're going to try and draw with the pen tool and you can zoom in with two fingers. We're going to draw one shape from our sculpture. So I'm going to do the shape of the wing. Now we need to zoom in and make sure none of our, just ignoring the, none of our lines have a gap. We need to fill in all of the gaps. So filling in all the gaps, zooming in. So we can draw the same shape in every box. Now it doesn't need to be perfectly, you want it roughly the same size. You don't want it too much smaller. But that being said, if you'd like to do it in a pattern, so you go big, small, big, small, that's all good. But again, zoom in, make sure none of your shapes, lines don't meet. We always need them to meet. So just keep going until all of your lines are meeting. Now we're gonna draw like the concentric circles of Wesley Kaczynski, we're going to do our shape on the inside and outside of our last shape. You wanna try and fill the box as close as you can. So I'm just doing one on the inside and one on the outside because that brings me pretty close to the edge of our box. But if you wanna do additional ones, we should have a minimum of two extra shapes. They can be both on the outside or it could be one on the inside. But again, don't leave gaps. You'll really struggle with the coloring part if you have gaps. And you notice I keep zooming in and zooming out with two fingers so I can have better control of my technical pen. All this is in black. Try not to use another color to do your drawings. just one more now once you've drawn all your shapes you're going to click on the paint bucket tool which is at the very top yeah you're then going to click on the circle color and you're going to pick a color scheme so I'm going to do two sets of complementary colors so I'm going to do yellow and purple and orange and blue but I'm going to do all the yellows first so I'm just going to tap on different sections doesn't need to be a pattern, can be random. Just filling in at least one section or more in my design. Then I'm gonna to move to the complementary color, which is purple. I'm gonna do different sections in purple. Try and do a different color scheme than you chose for your Ken Doan artwork. So if you did Primary colors, try and maybe do secondary. Or if you did complementary colors, maybe do primary. And last but not least is the blue. Once you've completed it, we're gonna click that top left hand square with the lines and that'll bring up share click save image and then we have our finished work. 